Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a CBS Market Watch interview. This time it's Bambi Francisco talking to the CEO of SciWorld, which is a pretty hot and big uh, social networking website in Korea. And uh, they're big into this virtual currency thing, which is something that's also pretty big on uh, secondlife.com. And it's also something that BuzzPal is going to be offering. Um, another interesting thing with um, SciWorld is the video uploading and downloading. They say they do 100,000 member uploads per day, and that compares to 65,000 a day for YouTube. So pretty interesting website. Check out the interview. I'm Bambi Francisco. More than $100 million is spent on the virtual world known as SciWorld. SciWorld is one of the most popular social network sites in Korea. And joining me to talk about that hot asset and the company's moves into the U.S. is Henry Chan, CEO of SciWorld USA. Henry, SciWorld launched in the U.S. recently, but let's just talk about Korea because that's sure. where it's really popular. $300,000 is spent daily on that site just for merchandise. What are the SciWorld members buying? Uh, typically, it's a digital assets that we created with graphics people that represents anything between uh, household items or paintings or anything that you can use to decorate your space. Uh, that's called mini room. You know, uh, there are couches and there are dining tables and, and anything that you like to sort of say, this is me in the virtual world, uh, self-exploratory uh, way. How much does a virtual Picasso go for? Uh, I think, like, last time I checked, it's about a dollar. Uh, these items are anywhere between 10 cents to a dollar, maybe two, uh, typically on the lower end rather than the high end. But you have to pay a copyright fee for that. We did, right? yes. Right. We work with uh, copyright owners to, to make sure that their rights are protected. Now, I can foresee a lot of members becoming virtual designers and creating their own label right. and um, selling you know, their designer label handbags or, or rugs or home furnishings. Uh, is that what they can do today? Uh, right, not, not right now, but okay. I think that's where we're going uh, with our services. Uh, so far, we have about 3,000 designers and uh, content providers that are creating anything that we sell, uh, but you know, there's always a demand by our user and community to say, you know, I am really good at creating these things. I'd like to share this with other people. So we are trying to create a, a place where we can share those kind of things, and the creators of the content are protected in some way by uh, profit sharing or, or some kind of revenue sharing. Okay, now you're in the U.S. You just launched in August. We have MySpace with 115 million members. Facebook is growing quickly at mm -hmm. 9 million members. Another, a number of social networks like Vox, which I, I think is pretty interesting, right. and appearing. So how do you differentiate yourself? How do you attract an, your yeah, audience? Uh, our service is uh, based on authentic relationship that you have offline. Uh, so we are promoting people to leverage and enhance their relationship that exists in offline into online. Sure. Not put f so much focus on meeting new people online, per se. Okay. So by doing that, we create a culture and core value where it's more authentic and, you know, I'm real me. I'm not some persona that I try to put up as someone else or be a cool person that everybody will like me or kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, I think from that perspective, we really add value to the social uh, network community that, you know, you can be yourself and, you know, you can express yourself, uh, your true self, rather than being someone else. How do you do, do that, though? What's your first order? What's your priority in terms of starting to reach out and get those people to sign up? In the U.S., we, we, yeah. are, uh, we are targeting the people that will be the key drivers of our service and, and grow virally. Mm -hmm. So we have identified certain aspects of our target demographic that we're going after in marketing and sales pitch. And, and this is where we're, we're working with a lot, a lot of partners like UTAs and Double Fusions and so forth. Who are they? What's your target demographic? Uh, late teens uh, to early 20s female uh, in in U.S. Okay. Lastly, you launched a video uploading service in Korea. Sounds right. like you're doing really well. How, how many uploads yeah. are you seeing a day? We launched in May, and today, uh, on average, we, uh, we get about 100,000 uploads a day, which I think uh, puts us probably the biggest in terms of volume generation and video uploads. That would be. 100,000, that's more than YouTube. It's 65,000 uploads a day. That's the last figure I hear, yes. Wow. Okay. Thanks very much for um, filling us in on uh, SciWorld. I've been speaking with Henry Chan. He is the CEO of SciWorld USA. I'm Bambi Francisco.